Hey, this is a quick tip for Raiden 3. This is the version on Steam. Um, and this will show you how you can get the game to run full screen and also how to con configure it to run with your gamepad. So first thing you want to do is navigate to where your Steam directory is. Normally in your C drive, but I've moved mine to another drive. And you want to go Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then the name of the game here, which is Raiden 3 Digital Edition. And in there, there's a config file. If you double click that, you can then enable full screen mode. And if you go to key mapping, you can see these are the keys. You can change them here if you want to use your keyboard. If you want to use a gamepad, you're using a, a really good utility. I did a video about this a while back, which explains a little bit more, but I'll show you how to use it now. It's called Anti-Micro. So I've got my controller connected at the minute. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. As I move my joysticks around and press the, and press the buttons, you can see that that's the key that you want to assign to this or that so what i've done is i've pushed up on the d-pad and then i want that to assign that to up on the keyboard because here is the up arrow there and i've gone down on the d-pad assign that to the down arrow on the keyboard and so on and so on and i've pushed personally i like green for shoot which is a on the gamepad there which is letter z so i've pushed that's on what button it is that i want to use and then i've pushed the letter z because that's what the game is using at the minute so i've saved this set up the top here i've saved it as raiding 3 you can save it as what you want but once it's running leave this leave this open so now i'm going to open up raiden and and i've noticed no lag whatsoever using anti-micro it's pretty good for that so i'm just waiting for steam to load and here we go so um we've got full screen the only sort of drawback is that it will only run a 640 by 480 I think that's probably because the original arcade was only designed to run at that resolution and all the textures would probably look pretty awful blown up so i'm going to push start which is actually would be return on the keyboard but i push start on my controller because i've mapped that and up and down on my joypad is now moving through the menus as well because i've mapped that in anti-micro and uh and that's it really i'll just quickly start and show you so i can just hold down fire which is the green button on my xbox 360 controller and obviously move around the d-pad or i can push that for bomb and i can pause it using start and that's it really hopefully this tip has been useful to you if it has please give me a thumbs up or if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing please subscribe thanks for watching